left side where the play was going, what they call play side, but how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle, or if you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage, you got a chance to rumble. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes rolling to his right. Caught by Jones. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up for the first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Hello. It's second and goal back to the eight yard line now. Keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. Our 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Bunker on for the Chiefs field goal. Second quarter, two minutes to go, tie ball game. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11 now. Off of play action. Here's Lance. This one caught by Kittle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 23. Again, it's Lance. Gets this one to use check. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Looking to throw again on second down. Lance. And this one's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Here's Lance. And that is incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Open man is Ayu complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Okay, right. Yeah. 
Now Lance again, rolling to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So first down went the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. And Lance going to throw. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Here we go. Interested here we go. to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So jumping from his free safety spot. That tells you how aggressive they are on defense, doesn't it? They get everyone involved. He was a little too fast on that play. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Lance now on third and goal. This is caught. Uh, driving for the goal line, but he's marked down short. And with no timeouts, no chance to get the field goal unit out there. And frustration going to set in, as that is going to be how this first half will come to a close. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That whole thing was thrown off track thanks to the defense of Fred Warner. Really nice play. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point. to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Yellow, yellow. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. It's eight, it's eight. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Blitz coming and down he goes. Jason Verrett, he'll get the sack as he provides the heat off the corner. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Now on third.
third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. there and the Niners take over in terrific field position they couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half a gorgeous day one score game first and ten here they'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey down to the 42 second down I have to think a major focus at the halftime makes had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Chiefs will take over here just shy of the 30. And right about now, you start to think, and maybe they're starting to think, gosh, maybe points aren't going to happen for us in this game. Well, it's a thought that is worth having because so far in this game, this defense has not just had the upper hand. They've appeared to be a step ahead, maybe even two steps, to everything they've done. They've had an answer for everything this offense has thrown at them. Now a throw for the All-Pro, Kelsey is complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. On play action, it's Mahomes. That's into the hands of Fordson. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. On second down, they'll run it here. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Nick Bosa using that speed to get in there and break that play up. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. They'll roll him out. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting it back on the sack. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding Hello. down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. But Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down.
And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Attack, attack! Hey, 43! Mahomes throwing on fourth. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. Now the throw took it beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. On play action, Lance out to his left. He finds Kittle going across the field. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Lance now on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So certainly a big mistake there, Charles. First and goal, and they throw the interception. Oh, that's just agonizing for a team because you still got at least two, maybe three downs in your pocket. So if it's not there on first down, there was no sense in trying to force something. Instead, they turn the ball over. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They'll wind up losing 11 on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Slant route, that's complete to Travis Kelsey. They'll send the tight end in motion left. for it. It's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Here we go. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Watch out now. 50 Fury. Check pick. Steel. Check steel. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth.
Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey punching it in from a yard away. And the 49ers have taken a fourth quarter lead. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. On the move past the 40. He's at the 30. 10, 5. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. The 40. 20. He will score. Touchdown, 49ers. They had just lost the lead. That deficit sure didn't take long to erase. They return the ensuing kickoff for a touchdown. Love the thunderbolt that just came out of that one that puts him in the end zone and back in the lead. Your only question, your defense just gave up a score that put you behind. Well, that score you just added on the board will energize them, or do they have to go back out there and they're a tired unit? We'll soon see. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mahomes. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. This defense so strong all afternoon long, well executed again there. This is a group that really functions well off of each other. No matter what the assignment, the other person fills in in the exact proper spot. It made it very, very hard for them to find open places to throw the football. Mahomes to throw it. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one covers 29 yards, first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Mahomes and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete we've seen this quite a few times in this game offensive line unable to keep leverage unable to keep people away facing a lot of pressure fortunate fortunate just to get rid of it one of the reasons they're down is that inability though to stop the pressure we saw another example of it there From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Mahomes. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. And the 49ers have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill, the offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Well, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. The ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. And that's about the easiest decline call you'll ever have right there. Well, it leads me to one of my pet peeves, and maybe peeves is too strong of a word, but if you're going to jump off sides, finish the play. Make sure the play ends. Don't jump off sides and stop, because you see the net result here. If you go ahead and finish the play, you don't give up that type of yardage. Yeah, got your best.